Potter County Sheriff Brian Thomas addressed the commissioner's court today about a safety and noise concern at a local gun range. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Residents have reported bullets are escaping from Smith and Son Armory on Echo Drive, sometimes whizzing by or even hitting their property. Now the Potter County Commission will have to decide if it will regulate or prohibit discharging of firearms at the range. This is a story KMR Local Force Kaylee Green has been investigating now for a couple of months. She joins us live in studio with the very latest. It's part of our I team investigation. All right, so Kaylee, uh, what did the commission take up at the discussion today? Well, Andy, this is just the most recent conversation I've had with Sheriff Thomas about Smith & Son Armory, but he tells me the county commission heard this discussion today because he went to the Potter County attorney and asked him to add the item to the agenda. Our research shows Texas counties have little authority over gun ranges, but in the local government code, there is one stipulation they can impose to promote public safety. Potter County is authorized to regulate or completely ban the discharging of firearms on plots of land 10 acres or less within subdivisions. That that would apply to Smith & Son Armory on Echo Drive, as well as others throughout the county. Several people who live near this particular gun range tell me this is long overdue. We've talked with one homeowner who claims bullets have actually hit his property. The sheriff's office has also received several noise complaints. Now, today, the commission seemed surprised to hear Sheriff Thomas and County Attorney Scott Brumley explain how long the sheriff's department has been receiving complaints about the gun range. Now, because Texas counties are extremely limited in their authority over sporting ranges, this proposed regulation is Potter County's only recourse. Sheriff Thomas says they're talking about it now as a safety matter. I'm all for you being able to carry a gun. I'm all for you going out and shooting your guns. The problem with this is, is that we have, it's in a subdivision where there are multiple houses around and those houses are getting hit and I'm afraid somebody's going to get hurt. And so it needs to be brought to the attention of our county government because if that happens, we know about it and, and we haven't done anything, then we're going to be in, in line with whatever lawsuit there is that comes down through the pike. Of course, whatever course of action the county commission takes, any regulation or prohibition would apply to the entirety of Potter County. Sheriff Thomas tells me there could be unintended consequences with any action that's so wide-ranging. Now, we want to note we have been in contact with the owner of Smith & Son Armory multiple times. He says he's interested in anything he can do to dispel negativity about his gun range, including giving us an interview. He has scheduled an interview with us for later this week. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Andy. All right, Kaylee, thank you. The Potter County Commission has added this item to its agenda in two weeks. They are requesting the owner of Smith & Son Armory to be in attendance so they can hear his side. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you updates as they come in.